D-Lo, ay, yeah, clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off a way. Ooh, yeah, see that my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! Hey, it's your boy Duck. It's your boy True Billy. It's your boy Ross. And this is Clutch Advice. Advice. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be starting something new here, man. Again, this yep. may be new to you. If not, mm -hmm. if you've seen our uh, post community tab, uh, our community tab comment or mm -hmm. post, whatever, um, <laughs> you've seen, we told you guys to send us some some questions, man. If, if you need some advice, not just questions, but if you need advice, hit us up, man. Let's mm -hmm. see if we can kind of come up with a little, you know, a few things that from our experiences or things that we may have thought of, who knows? Never know. So we're going to each choose from a random uh question or whatever right and kind of give some advice about it so we're gonna pin the question for today and truly take it away all right man so this guy goes by the name austin l shout Hi, out austin. to austin man <laughs> <laughs> he pretty much man he hit us up saying i really don't talk about myself much to anyone okay. but uh i really f with y'all appreciate hey, it man, we mess with you man love you too man come on and uh ever since i lost my grandma in 2017 r.i.p man rest in peace I haven't been the same, and I even dropped out of high school, man, uh, due to the cause of it. I always went to her for everything, and now that she's gone, I feel empty. Damn, man. Um, I love my mom to death. Don't get me wrong. Even though she understands, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the loss, for the long ass comment. Hey, man, don't apologize, bro. Nah, nah, you're good, bro. I just feel like um, a part of me died when I lost her. Hey, brother. Hey, man. This honestly, this hit me. Um, I, you know, I lost my grandpa in 2019. And, you know, I was actually living with my grandparents at the time that he passed away. And during that time, I wasn't really talking to nobody. You know, if you saw back then, you know, when we had our sit down talk when I came back to the channel, um, pretty much I didn't have nobody other than my grandpa. You know, we'll be outside in the backyard talking almost every day when I came home from work and he unexpectedly passed and it hit me. It hit all of us, you know, cousins, you know, my, my aunt, uncle, my mother, it hit everybody, but it really especially hit me. And um, really got me through it was uh, pretty much it's something that you, you have to accept, man. Even, you know, somebody that you love dearly, you know, there's going to be a time where that person will no longer be here. And it's only right that you represent them in the most way possible. I say, man, keep striving. Um, I understand you dropped out of high school. Uh, hopefully there's a way you can come back. Yeah, and sure. at the end of the day, man, your grandma <clears throat> wanted the best for you, man. And you, you, you were hurt. Like I said, you know, you lived through hurt. And so anything that you do, you know, just just let that be motivation. Like, look, I'm making my grandmother proud. And like I said, you know, I know you don't have, you say you don't have nobody. Um, at the end of the day, man, look, you you got yourself, man. And, you know, you also have us, too. Nice. That's why we reached out to you. And like I said, this comment really hit me. But, uh, man, just Damn. keep it going, bro. And like I said, it's, it's, it's a terrible loss. And at the end of the day, man, just make your grandmother proud, man. Oh, yeah. So, sure. Facts. Yeah. Facts, man. Uh, yeah. Maybe. been I think uh, we've all dealt with some loss before. Yeah. You know, I lost my grandmother on my dad's side a few months back last year. Yeah. And you know, uh, it's a it's a tough thing. But the one thing I can say uh, that kept keeps me going is the fact that uh, I'm trying to make her proud. You know. Right. I'm trying to make her her like her memory. I want that to be something that fuels me, you know, yeah. all the good times I had with her. I wish she could see me now, you know what I'm saying, where I'm at from where, you know, where I started, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's one of those type of things. It's always going to be tough losing a grandparent. It's always going to be tough losing a loved one yeah. in general. It, it's like a piece of you is gone, but that's why you cherish the moments you have with your loved ones. This is, this is that prime it's example true. of always cherishing the moments you have with your loved ones and keeping that memory. You know, keeping that fond memory of them. Yeah. And like Brandon was saying, you know, you got to you gotta find a way to move forward, you know. You know, because you don't want to find yourself just stuck in a rut and now you can't even live. Because I'm pretty sure Definitely. she would want you to live your life. She would want Facts, you to, to, right. to keep striving. She would want you to, you know, be the best version of yourself. Yeah. So if any advice we can give you is keep pushing forward. We support you over here. If you ever need to talk to us, you can hit us up, man. You can hit Thanks. us up on Twitter, Instagram, or here, you know, and we'll try to, you know, you know, have that little dialogue with you because you're not alone, bro. Definitely not alone. Not right. alone, bro. Yeah, no, I definitely know what you feel like, man. You know, it's 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 been some years. I want to say, um, as well for me, it was my yeah. grandmother, and uh, I mean, lost my first one when I was younger. Um, 
so it felt more impactful growing up with my grandmother on my mom's side because I was older and I got to, you know, know more. So it, it hurt way more, you know, when she passed away. Uh, it hurts regardless. Yeah. And, and, and grandparents, you you think they they'll live forever, man? Yeah. And but it doesn't you know, it doesn't change, you know, the missing. You know what I'm saying? It just you, know. it, you you learn to kind of grow with it. Like you you grow to the pain. Mm-hmm. If that makes sense. Like it's it's an excruciating pain, feeling yeah. like you you lost them. But it never loses. It, it never leaves. That pain never leaves. You actually just grow. You outgrow the pain. If that yeah. makes sense, you know. Um, I get what you're saying. And you just kind of learn how to live with it, you know. And again, like they were saying, dope, solid advice, man. It's, it's something that you wanna you wanna keep their legacy alive. That's one thing that I use for me. Um, yeah. It's tough sometimes for me personally, only because I feel like certain family members don't do their part in leaving a legacy mm-hmm. right. how it should be. Like, well, how my grandmother raised us was, bro, was, like, real solid on family. Mm-hmm. You know, and she kept us together, man. We was always, you know, it's, it's like my cousins felt like brothers and sisters more than just cousins. Right. You know, but then I grew up and I started to realize, like, some people act like they forgot how we were raised. And I think for me, advice that they said that I used was actually just keeping her, like, what would she say if she was here? Mm-hmm. And I think about yeah. that constantly. And I'm like, you know what? She would want me to do this. She would want me to do this. She would want me to, you know. So my biggest thing, too, is just leaving as big of an impact on somebody else's life as she did on my life. You know, no, that's real. That's real, real, man. As long as you're leaving the legacy, bro. As long as somebody touched you on your heart, they never die. They exactly, always man. Do. The energy lives on, man, through yeah. you. Facts, man. For sure. So yeah. I hope you really, really consider that advice. And I mean, yeah. Just understand, you're not the only one. That's you're one not, of the things. As you can, can see, we all lost our for sure. know, a grandparent in, mm-hmm. in some form of way, man. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, and I always so. say, keep God first, bro, because exactly. you need you need that that you know that that not only that faith, but that that power. You need something on the inside of you to keep right. pushing you. Because mm-hmm. be honest with you, bro, we all gonna experience loss that yeah. we can't imagine. But yeah. it's how we move forward that's gonna really create the person that we are. Mm-hmm. Facts, facts. So, yeah. yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And, uh, of course, man, homie, we're going to be praying for you as well. Because, again, Thanks. it's something that we've all experienced. So mm-hmm. yeah. let us know in the comments down below some more stuff. Uh, if y'all have some, you know, something that y'all need advice on, hit us up in the comments or on the community tab. And we'll be sure to try to make sure we get to them. I know it's a lot of you guys, so mm-hmm. we'll do our best. But if y'all liking these segments, one of them likes up. You feel so? Yes, That's sir. the next video, man. We in the clutch. Peace. Already. This bitch is from Houston If you got a problem, then we got the solutions And there's no illusion I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid I'm switching my strategies Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me